What's going on YouTube? Uh, I have been on the hunt for a, uh, a everyday carry uh, pocket knife and I this is actually the first time that I bought one of these that uh, I've actually spent some money on. Uh, I've been carrying this guy around you know for the last few months you know it's just a cheap ten dollar uh, folding knife from Home Depot. Uh, before that I had a uh, um, a folding knife that I got that came with a uh, box of cigars that I purchased. So this right here, uh, what I purchased is the uh, SOG Escape. I'll give you a nice close up of it. So the SOG Escape, it's uh, so basically it has a uh, a hard case black uh, partially serrated SOG um, sharp blade right here. Uh, it's got a hard anodized uh, aluminum handle. Then and you can see it says uh, SOG on it. Uh, it also has uh, right here. You can see there's a little point on it right here, and uh, and that is basically a tungsten carbine glass breaker. Uh, and then also you can see it's got these holes in it right here. This is if you need to strip any cable. So basically, you push the cable through there, and then you close this down just enough, and then you pull this and you yank the uh, the plastic coating off of the uh, the cable. And there's actually multiple uh, different sizes that you can do here. And then, of course, it's got the belt clip uh, right here. Uh, so just a couple other things. So it is a uh, so the blade is 3.4 inches. Uh, the blade's 3.4 inches long. Uh, it weighs uh, 4.8 ounces. Uh, the overall length is uh, 8.2 inches, and the blade steel is a 9CR18 MOV RC5860. If you know what metal is, uh, maybe you know what that is, you can actually drop a comment below and let me know if that's a good uh, metal. Uh, it's classified as a SOG uh, tactical knife. Um, and like I said, this is the, oh, so it also has a seatbelt uh, cutter right here. Um, I would probably use this to cut any uh, seatbelts if I was stuck or someone was stuck. But, and it has the, the lock is here. So you push this and that releases the blade. So it closes the blade. It doesn't exactly, it doesn't have a spring assist, so it doesn't open up by itself. Uh, but you can still open it up with, uh, with one hand. It's a pretty heavy knife, which is nice. Uh, the blade seems to be fixed on it pretty well. Uh, it does say SOG Escape right there, which is blurry and you can't see it. Uh, but it does feel uh, pretty good. And like I said, this is the first time I've, uh, I've actually spent money on an uh, EDC. Um, I, I usually just have cheap knives like this, like this one, uh, but uh, but this this one must be a different blade because this blade I can't keep I can't keep it sharp. I've got to sharpen it every day. Of course, you can see how dirty it is. You know, I use this knife every day at work. But anyway, so this is my SOG Escape, and it's my first SOG, uh, and I'm going to uh, carry it every day, and hopefully it stays nice and sharp. Uh, I'll shoot a uh, a follow up video on it here after I've been carrying it for a month or so and let you know exactly what uh, I think of it. But you can see, you know, it says SOG there. It feels, you know, it's, it's a hard plastic here, you know, but it feels nice. It feels nice in my hand. It's got a good grip here, you know, and the blade is actually, uh, so it narrows up here at the top. And then, like I said, it's partially serrated. So if you are interested in a, uh, in a SOG knife, uh, I can put the link in the description below. I got this off Amazon. I think it was 40 bucks. Uh, so uh, if you like this video, uh, please hit the like button. And if this is your first time to my channel, subscribe or I'm going to come after you. Just kidding. Have a good day.